everyone. I've got some huge news, huge. It is currently May of 2022 and Starlink has come out with a brand new product. I was contacted by Starlink directly on this brand new product, offering it to me to test it out. I may be the very first person to even receive this. Receiving it a couple days ago, I'm about ready to set it up, show you guys what it is. I'm currently working with Starlink, trying to get you guys a discount code. We'll see what happens. So whether you have Starlink already and you're excited about this new piece of gear, this is something that you can add to your already existing Starlink. Or you're brand new to the idea of Starlink Wi-Fi and it's extremely fast internet service. Starlink is really known for their remote Wi-Fi capability. You could live out in the outskirts, off grid, running off solar power, and still be able to have Wi-Fi, be able to have Wi-Fi calling. You could make phone calls. You could be sailing out in the ocean on a boat, have Wi-Fi. You could even be traveling in a camper and be nomadic and still have your Wi-Fi. Or maybe you're interested in Starlink because you just want to get out of screwy contracts and other companies that you're not happy with. Any of those reasons, this new Starlink product is super cool and this video is for you. Welcome back everybody, high five to the subs. If you're brand new here, we give you guys weekly economic updates, how-to videos. So be sure if you're new here or wanna stay up to date on this, hit the notification bell. It'll keep you up to date on our new videos. And in this case, it's Starlink internet. Some of you guys, like me, live in the outskirts. Maybe you live off grid and you'd like to have some communication. Well, Starlink is a solution for that. People that live in the outskirts can finally have good internet service. If you haven't seen those videos, I've got a couple videos on that that you missed. I'll leave a link for those at the end of this video and also in the description below so you guys can catch up. As for this product, brand new. Like I said, I think I might be the very first person to have this, might be the very first person to put a video out on this. So this is a good video to watch. Now people have been asking for this because hooking up other mesh nodes to their existing router has been kind of a tricky thing. Some people know how to do it, some people don't. Well, Starlink listened and delivered. They came out with their brand new own mesh link. What this is gonna do is be able to expand your already huge Wi-Fi network. So for like us, we have a house, We've got another building that way. We've got another building that way, a huge barn down the way. We've got a very big area to cover and still have Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi these days just does so much for a person. So sometimes it's nice having some Wi-Fi down at the end of the property or up at this end of the property, just having that good signal. So let's jump into this box. I'm gonna set it up for you, show you how well it works, show you another feature that they have on their app that's super cool. Okay, so right out of the gate, this thing is looking almost identical to the main router. You've got your receiver spot right here as if you were gonna plug in another dish. You've got your power right here. You've got that simple style of basic instructions. It says, go to the app on your phone. Got your power cord, some little book that you need a magnifying glass to read. We're gonna start off by stretching the capabilities of this thing. So as you can see, right out here, over there's my little gym building I built. And that's where our Starlink currently is because it's got a great spot for the dishy or dish, whatever it's called. So we're gonna to try to set it up here in the house and see if it can beam over there, which is about 60 to 80 yards. Okay, so step one in the instructions is to plug it into an outlet. Okay, so then you're gonna open up your Starlink app. You're gonna get a drop down screen or it's gonna flash in the middle of your phone and say pair new mesh node. You click the button pair. This node will show up as connecting on the network screen. The connection will take about one to two minutes. Once it's connected, the node will appear on the network. Upon connection, the node will appear on the network screen in the app with a signal strength. Now you can have multiple nodes across your property or different rooms and connect multiple nodes. Okay, so everything's going really good. It's already, it's already detected our new mesh router, connected great. Okay, so everything is connected seriously within just like two minutes. Wow, that is super easy and fast. 
let's run a speed test. As you can see, we're already connected to the new mesh router in the house, which is about 60 to 80 yards away from our other main unit that is in a different building. Speed tests are amazing for being up here in the mountains. Wow, extremely happy with this. Okay, let's check out the stats. And just like that, we've got amazing Wi-Fi pinging from those buildings back there all the way to over here, and we have amazing internet service now. The new Starlink mesh node, super cool. I had already been working on Linksys mesh routers, and it was kind of a, a lot of little steps that you had to jump through. This is extremely easy. You plug it in, hit OK, and everything kind of magically happens, and you're done. I like that style. Another cool thing that you can do is check for visibility, check for obstructions. This is a cool little thing in case you've got trees or overhead stuff. You can easily figure out what type of obstructions you have and be sure you're in the clear. Okay, so like I said, super cool, super easy, and I know you guys like to see how it works, so there you go. Another very cool thing that I wanted to show you guys is the new feature on the app. It is a Wi-Fi scanner button. It'll say beta on the right-hand side. What it's gonna do is allow you to walk around and it's gonna ping your location and tell you how much Wi-Fi connectivity and Wi-Fi signal that you have just walking around. Now, I think you're supposed to hold the camera up and show like where you're going from room to room, but I'm gonna show the ground just because I think that's a little bit creepy. And some of you may not wanna use that feature, just because it's a little bit odd. Yeah, so I'm gonna play guinea pig just to show you how it works. Let's check that out. So anyway, we're heading over here to my main, my main router for Starlink. So where are you guys at with this? Are you guys uh, already have one? Do you want to order one? Are you curious about whether you can have one? Uh, by the way, they have a new feature out there it tells you where they have service. You can actually go on there and see where you got service. But let me know down in the comments below whether you're just wishing you have one, whether you're going over different options, or you're wanting this new added mesh node, which is super cool. It's over here sitting in the window of the little gym building I built. So just a little background. This building right here, it used to be a washer and dryer room. We had a fridge. We had... It was when we lived in a camper for three years, building our place from raw ground. So yeah, I turned it, we thought, we thought we might turn it into a chicken coop, but nope, we turned it into Rack's gym. Thought some of you guys might enjoy seeing that. So side note, yeah guys, we lived in a camper for three years on raw land and built everything that you ever see in our videos. We finally built this big barn behind us, moved the camper into that for a year. We had six kids in a camper for three years. We even had a trailer baby. So just, just, just in case people out there think that I'm entitled, no, we've put in a lot of hard work here. Okay, so let's jump into this app and start scanning. Okay, so there you can see it. Wi-Fi scanner. And it says beta right on the, on, right on the side. We're clicking on it. says, okay, I'm ready. Here we are looking at the ground. Okay, so here we go, we're starting. Right now, we're connected to this one in the gym. You can see it's all just dinging up, lighting up. We got great service out here. Okay, moving out. Oh, I'll just do, there's Coda, he's riding off. But you can see quickly how we get into red service. Okay, we're gonna do a straight shot over to the house. You see that? I mean, we're going into straight black. That means very bad service, even though realistically, it's good service. Like I have service here all the time, but it's telling you, see, and right back there, you can see, you can see where the other node is. Let's walk right back. I'll walk right back so you guys can see it. There we go. So you can see that first, that's our actually main router right there. So we'll turn back around, walking back over to the house. Now this is pretty cool. As you can see, we're uh, gonna be jumping 
to this next mesh node. And there we are. We're already, we're already front door. Just past it. Well, right there. There it is right here. So, you know, then you can walk through your house, whether you're checking out your house or going down the hall, down in the bedroom, you can kind of find, go down here, go down through the kitchen. So you can definitely see your zones. And you can walk around, you can seriously walk all around and make an entire map of your whole place and then make a screenshot of it so you know where your hot spots are. But no joke, this is, this is it right here and we're definitely in a great, great zone. And our, our main unit is straight down that line all the way over there at that building. Isn't that something? So we'll go out here on the deck. So now I'm gonna tell you right now, it says that we're kind of a black zone, but this, this, uh, this Starlink is absolutely amazing. So coming over here, we're going across the deck. Yeah, it doesn't like it, doesn't like it much, but I have great service right here. So now we look over there at the tiny house, small cabin. I got service over there, no problem. So this thing is definitely modest. I can tell you that. Let's hit this button that says view results. And it'll give you kind of a snapshot of everything you got going on. So now this helps you figure out where to place your network nodes, your little mesh nodes. And I can honestly tell you that it is extremely modest. I can go all the way down to the end of the property down there by the, that deck way down there and have great service. So the fact is that this thing helps you figure out where to place those nodes, but it doesn't mean that that's the only place that you're gonna have service because we've got service all over the place. This new mesh node is just gonna help it be even more great down at this end of the property. So whether you guys are trying to be in an outskirts location and have some Wi-Fi where maybe Wi-Fi is difficult to have, Starlink is a great option and they're expanding their products, making sure that you have everything you need. So whether you're out on a sailboat, you're camping, your RV life, you're way up a canyon, it's just really hard. For some people, it's easier to have Wi-Fi to enable Wi-Fi calling because they don't get cellular service or, or landlines just don't reach. So this is a homestead must for us because I wouldn't be able to do a lot of my work online if I didn't have Starlink. As always guys, bringing you guys some tips. Be sure to comment, let me know where you're at in the stage of the game. Let me know what you think of this. Like, subscribe, and share this video. We'll see you guys on the next one.